giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Okay, this is going to be a fun segment because we get to talk about a festival. And you always have fun talking about festivals. This festival has been around for quite a long time in Boonville. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my guest who knows all about it, Kelly Smith. Hello, Kelly. Hi, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Well, and welcome to a... Glad to have you on News Leaders. Thank you. You're the brand new executive director. I am. For the Friends of Historic Boonville. Right. Yeah. I was born and raised in Boonville. Didn't and know this until recently. Yes, and I, it's a, I, I love Boonville. I mean, it's a very special place to me. And so my family had the opportunity to move back last year. And when this job became available, it was, it was kind of a, it was a cosmic, nice coincidence that happened. And and we were really excited. So. Well, you seem to be the perfect person to work for this job. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I, I know a lot of the people, and it's just the organization is for preservation, history, and the arts in Boonville, and I think those are such important things, so I'm excited. Are you responsible for tours, too, then? I do a lot of tours so far, and I've only been there two months. And so. you do the tours? I, I do. Um, we have three properties in Boonville that are historic. So we have Thespian Hall on Main Street that people see and drive by all the time. We have the old Cooper County Jail and Hanging Barn, which was the Always site. Hard to talk about this it one. It is. It's the site of the last hanging in the state of Missouri in 1930. That's actually where our office is. And then we also have the Hain House and Memorial Gardens, which all three properties are pre-Civil War and have a lot of really interesting history. And we love to get people in to see those and try to preserve that. Okay, so tours anytime throughout the day. Do people need to call ahead for these, of course? Okay, so for tours, our, our office is open at the jail Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 9 till 3. Okay. And then they can call us, at, and I know you'll put the number up, anytime to schedule tours at any of the places. And even if we're not open, we'll figure out a way to do the tour. Okay, you're so, so. accommodating. We try to because people, when they visit Boonville, we want them to experience the history. Yeah. So we think that's a really big part of our culture, and the more people can be exposed to that. I've had visitors at the jail recently from Canada and really? states, um, East Coast, West Coast. I mean, it's been amazing to me to see the diversity of the visitors that we've had. And, so. you know, Boonville, too, is quite the town. It is. We are fortunate to have such a wonderful, when you drive through it and you see all the different houses and all the different layout, it's, it's amazing. It really is. It is. It's a great town. I had a, visitors from Cincinnati, and they said they were going to spend the week in Missouri, and they ended up coming back to Boonville for a couple extra days of their week because the people were so nice and the food was so good and all of the things they could do. So it's been really like heartening for me to see visitors say that since I just moved my family back to Yeah. Yeah. So obviously it's a great, this was meant to be. Yeah, well I meant hope so. Be. I think so, yes. <laughs> and you want to talk about something coming up at the end of August, which has been around yes. for over forty years. It has. So we're tickets will go on sale uh, July the sixteenth for our forty third annual Missouri River Festival of the Arts. So it's a multi-day arts festival, and there are a couple of components to it. One of them is a visual art exhibit, and that starts on, let's see, August the 22nd. And the artist for this year is Colette Brumbaugh, who is from Columbia. She's a plein air artist, and so her art will be exhibited in the Hain House, the historic Hain House, each night of the festival before the concert. So you get to see the Hain House, too, on Correct, top of it. correct. And the art will be for sale as well. Then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, David Halen, who's a concert master for the St. Louis Symphony, he comes to Boonville all of those three days and puts on um, a performance that's made up of members of the St. Louis Symphony and the Kansas City Symphony, and they come together to perform at Thespian Hall, which is this great pre-Civil War theater that we've preserved, and the Friends of Historic Boonville works to keep up, up and running. So um, the first night will be some smaller group performances. We're talking about a piano trio and a piano quartet. And then Friday night, we'll have the Great American Songbook and some opera highlights, and we'll have some singers that were featured artists at the Aspen Music Festival okay. that will join them to sing. It'll be really fun. Sounds great. And then Saturday is the chamber orchestra, and they come together and do some really classic pieces 
And that's kind of the big finale of the festival. So it's kind of like bringing together both sides of the state in a way. It is. Kansas City and St. Louis into music. It is. Through Boonville's Missouri River Festival of the Arts. Correct. And tickets go on sale July the 16th. You can buy series tickets or you can buy, just if you want to come, just one of the nights, you can do that. We do encourage people to buy tickets as soon as they can, but you can buy all the way, all the way through July. You can contact us to purchase tickets. So. Sounds great. And that phone number is 660-882-7977. That's or, right. can you buy them online? Yes, they'll be available on our website. Friends of Historic Boonville, mo.org. Right. Kelly, good to see you. You too. Did Thank you job. so Come much. Come back and visit, will you? I'm, okay, I, I definitely will. talk about will. Boonville on and on and on. There's so much to talk about. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>